If you're a real estate agent out there, you probably have heard of funnels. It's been the big buzzword and funnels can help you automate your business. There's sales funnels, click funnels, client funnels. But the problem is usually each one of these funnels are in their own system, disconnected from your website and your IDX site. And you have all these different tools to use. So what I want to show you today is how you can automate your real estate business from capturing the lead to onboarding them as a client to closing the deal and even automating how you get referrals and having that in all in one system. So if you wanna learn how to do this so you can save time by automating your business, then keep watching. Hey everybody, it's me, Jacob Sharman, your real estate marketing expert. I have over 17 years of marketing experience specializing in web design and SEO, and I take that experience to help you grow your real estate business. So if you wanna see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I release new content. And if you would like to partner with me to get all of my training, resources, courses, and coaching for free at no extra cost or split to you, take a look at partnering with me at eXp Realty inside the Agent Wolfpack. And there's a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me to learn more about that. So let's dive into today's topic. All right, so today we're talking more about funnels. I've done a lot of other videos and overviews of the system that we use and that we customize for real estate agents. So if you really need help with your marketing and kind of automating your business and getting a real handle on your SEO, your website, then definitely go ahead and click the link below to book a marketing consultation and take a look at what we have to offer. But what I wanna show you is really how these funnels work together. And I just wanna focus on funnels today because a lot of times as real estate agents, we have tools everywhere. We have our website that our broker provides, and then our IDX website, our CRM. Then sometimes we brand our own website, which you should be doing if you are looking to take your career seriously. And then on top of that, we've bought funnels and click funnels and landing pages and client funnels and all these different things over here. And they don't usually work together to help you have an automated system. And what I like to do with the websites that we design is include the funnels in there. Remember, a funnel is just a website. So for those people telling you you need a separate funnel system outside of your website, they're just trying to sell you another product. A funnel is basically a series of web pages and steps. So, you know, you can have your kind of lead funnel, you can have a sales funnel, you can have a client onboarding funnel, you can have a funnel that allows people to leave reviews. So there's so much you can do automating the system that remember funnel is just a series of steps. And where this is really predominant is in the sales industry. If you're going to go buy a course or a product, a lot of times they try to upsell you on the next page. Those are just a series of steps walking you through a workflow. And that's exactly what you're doing with your website. So when we talk about these funnels today, and I'm gonna share my screen and kind of show you what that looks like, we're gonna be talking about how we can capture that lead and then with the help of our CRM and all of our other platforms, we can nurture that lead and then take that lead straight into our client funnel, which is just a series of steps where you can get a client intake form, you can send them videos to watch ahead of time so you're collapsing timeframes and giving that basic buyer's presentation or listing presentation. Say, go ahead and watch these videos so that way we can spend more time on the important stuff and you're not spending an hour, hour and a half in an appointment, you're in, in 30 minutes under an hour out and you can focus on building that relationship. And then even when the sale's done, you can have another workflow kick in where you send them a link to go give you a referral or even better when your offer is accepted and you negotiated or you got things maybe going in better favor, it's always better to collect those testimonials in the middle of a transaction. The reason why is after the transaction's over, they're gonna be focused on moving and all these other things. You wanna catch them in the height of that emotion. So you can have things that would trigger that to automatically email them and send them a link to go leave you a Google review or wherever you're collecting your reviews. So what I wanna do is break that down because a lot of people tend to overcomplicate this. I deal with a lot of real estate clients that have all these funnels and they're not needed. All these systems they pay for that promise they're gonna generate leads. One thing that you need to understand is funnels will not generate leads for you, will not generate traffic per se. So you can send it traffic and it will process that traffic, but it will not just magically deliver leads to you. And if they say they can, they're lying to you. Don't do it. You gotta have some type of paid ad, social media, YouTube, organic SEO, Google business profile, one of those things to drive it to the funnel page. Now, 
on your website, you can generate traffic by creating community pages and blog posts. And then that could take them into the funnel on your website, like the buyer's page, the seller's page, 55 and over community page, your real estate investor funnel, all of those things. That's how it's going to work. Same thing with a landing page. It's not going to generate traffic. It's going to process it. So if you can get that mindset and understand that, it will help you understand lead generation better. And again, if you want more coaching on this, I offer coaching programs. We even have a real estate website and Google business profile coaching program where we not only build it and do everything, but we coach you through a 90 day marketing plan to help your lead generation. If you're interested in that, go ahead and click and apply below to see if you qualify for that program. So what I'm going to do is share my screen now and let's work through this and show you what it looks like in real life. All right. So what I want to do in this tutorial is talk about the funnels. A lot of people, like I said before, have a funnel, they have a website, they have an IDX website, they have their landing pages, but essentially your website has a funnel that can be built into it. Remember a funnel is just a series of steps. So if we think about the client process, they're going to come here on our website, they're going to find something that will capture their lead, whether it is downloading one of our downloadable guides and then you have a workflow that nurtures them until they become a client, then they enter the client funnel, which we'll talk about in a minute. They join your mailing list. They read your blog and follow a call to action. They watch one of your videos and subscribe to your channel. They fill out a request uh, to schedule a consultation or to get contacted by you. They fill out your chat. There are so many different ways to capture the lead. And that's one thing I want you guys to be very clear on is that when I review a lot of agents' websites that come to me and say, you know, where can I make enhancements to my website? A lot of them have only one way to do a call to action, and that's usually in the contact form. And that is not sufficient to have one way to capture a lead. Most people will never fill out that contact form. They're not just going to manually dial you and go fill out this form. You need to have different ways to capture them in their journey. So we've talked about this again. I just want to recap this so you can understand how the funnel works. So a funnel you don't need a separate lead gen funnel or landing page funnels, all those things, because essentially when you have somebody go to your buy page, that is a buyer's funnel. All of that content is tailored to the buyer to capture them wherever they are in that buying journey. Now, remember, not everybody's ready to buy immediately. Some people might be 90 days, might be six months. It might be a year from now when they're going to relocate for work. Everybody has different things in a lot of agents only focus on the now, and this is why their pipeline is empty because they don't keep it full and leads to nurture. So the successful agents always have a full pipeline. So when the season slows down, those people that said, oh, I'm going to move in nine months, guess what? Nine months from now, they've got business. So those leads are valuable. So if you've watched my other videos, I've gone into this more in depth. But you can see there's several different ways for people that are ready to work with us now. They can book a consultation, get more information. People that just want to see what's there in the area, they can go ahead and search. In any of these, if you click book a consultation, it'll open up the book a consultation in the, you know, my Calendly pops up. If they click start searching, it goes right down to the IDX search. Um, and then also we, we try to capture the lead. There's a call to action in every section almost. Schedule a consultation, schedule a consultation. That's the most important step. But for those that are not ready to schedule a consultation, maybe they just want to find out, can I even get pre-approved? So this is why we have the home buying step. The most important thing besides getting your realtor is finding out if you can buy a home and where you're at in that journey. So if somebody clicks the pre-approved, it's going to open up and you're going to connect you're going to capture that lead first before you send it to a lender. I don't know how many times I've seen agents and even successful real estate businesses refer to the lender right away and they never capture that lead. And they're hoping that the lender will send them back. And a lot of times the lender is just going to recommend whatever realtor they want. So that's the thing. So in here, I'm capturing the buyer, I'm asking questions and getting some information. And I can either have, you know, based on the way they answer questions, like, is this your first home purchase? Maybe I have somebody that's really great with first time home buyers, I can have it automatically forward to that person or 
at once the lead comes in, it'll email me and I can just forward it to whoever I want. But because they filled out this form, I have an automation that will go into my CRM and tag them appropriately that, hey, they did the pre-approval form. And this is how you can keep your workflow going and having them go through that funnel. So this is your sales funnel. You're capturing the lead, you're getting them. And now when they start this home buying process step, this is kind of the client onboarding funnel. I'm getting them pre-approved, then they're booking a consultation, then they're completing the buy your intake questionnaire. So I can ask them any question that I would normally ask anybody. And a lot of this is conditional, like, is there another buyer? Yes, now all those fields pop up. Is this your first home purchase? No. Are you relocating? Yes. Where's your current city and state? How are, when are you looking to purchase? Have you spoke with a lender? And then if this question spoke with a lender is no, then I could forward them information on a lender to speak with. And then if they skip to this step, it still captures the lead. So that's the thing is all these will test to see if that lead is in there. And if it's not, it will just update them in that step. And then once they completed the questionnaire, now it's time to start searching if all of these things have been completed. And then after they search, what's the next step? So a lot of times people in their onboarding waste a lot of time by not pre-recording some videos that you can put on your YouTube for content or you can unlist them. And what will happen is instead of wasting time talking about what it's like to submit an offer and negotiation, the steps of the buying process, what I'm going to do for them, all of those boring things that you repeat to everybody that take forever. Nobody wants to set through a presentation unless they're very technical type that needs all the numbers. Then what I can do is have them watch these videos before our consultation. And then um, even if they click here, I can capture the lead before they watch that video and I redirect them to the YouTube video or the page with it embedded. So the great thing is now I'm collapsing time frames and really automating my business. That way, when I get there with the buyer or the seller, they've gotten the base information about buying and selling or investing or whatever niche you're going for. And then when I spend time with them, I can focus on the relationship and digging further into the questions they have. And now my average appointment time is 30 to 45 minutes versus over an hour. And a majority of that time is we're not really talking about real estate. We're talking about their property, but I'm talking about them and getting to know them. So this is really big into the automation. So this would kind of be like your client onboarding funnel. So now we've started, we've captured the lead and based on our automations that we could set up with Zapier, our CRM, we're pushing them through the next step because if I see they did pre-approval, then now I can send an email and say, hey, let's book a consultation. And then once they book a consultation, I'm gonna say, hey, thanks for booking a consultation. Please fill out this questionnaire before our meeting. So now they're moving through on step three. And then step after they complete the questionnaire, I'm gonna say, hey, feel free if you want to start looking, you can start searching for properties. So now they're going to go search for properties. And then once they find a property or I can submit a, later on right before the consultation, I could have Calendly or, you know, a zap that goes out that says, Hey, before I meeting, can you also watch these one, two, three, four short videos that will give you some general information. That way we can spend time in the appointment talking about the important things. And so now you've taken them through this onboarding funnel and you're not asking all these questions, have to go look for an email, going back and forth, especially booking a consultation. I remember before this would take me forever to figure out when they're available, I'm available. And now they can just go book what's good for them because they're going to see what's available in my calendar. So if you're not automating your website like this, you don't have something like this, you are missing out. And the bad part of this is that even when you do get busy, you're not going to have a system in place. Don't wait until you get busy to figure this out. If you can get this implemented and you have the resources to do something like this, I highly recommend if you need help with that, reach out to us. We have systems, we have coaching available. We can help you get this system there. But if you do have the capability of doing this yourself, get this implemented now because when you get busy, you're just going to be able to keep taking more clients and more business and not getting bogged down by all this little things because these emails will automatically fire out based on how you tag your client. And so this really helps through that. And then as we go through the sales process, 
then you could tag them even more to even send them back to your website or your Google business profile to even ask for a review. And I highly recommend that once an offer is accepted and you've negotiated good terms, have a tag that you can put, you know, ask for review tag. And then it automatically fires on an email with a link to your Google business. Don't wait till the transaction closes. Do that high point when you got them a really good deal because once the deal closes, they're focused on moving. Now they got the stresses, the more costs and financial. Get them in the high point so that way you get that review. They're gonna be talking you up and they're not gonna put it off because they're focused on something else. So this is kind of what the automation process looks like is that you have all of these things in place so you're not collecting this manually and you're not sending out these emails manually. So that's super important. And if you look at this funnel, I have for every stage, maybe people just wanna get information on you know, what the home buying process is like. Maybe they're first time home buyers, they can fill this out and now I've captured the lead. They can ask questions, which these will help SEO. They can see social proof from other buyers and again, get started. So you need to tailor your sales page would go similar. You can have the sales process, the onboarding, you have a questionnaire about their house. There's so much you can do to automate this whole process. And I highly recommend you do. And if you, again, if you need help, I have a full service marketing company. We have these um, in place and we even have a full, um, part uh, paired with our website funnel system that you can get your Google business profile done for us. We'll show you how to maintain it. And then on top of that, we coach you through 90 days of how to generate leads and you get weekly coaching with me directly creating a system for you. So when you're done, not only do you have an amazing, beautiful website that really works for you 24 seven that people are finding, it's also generating and processing leads, moving them through client automations. We set up all of your automations and optimize your Google business profile. So organically you are good to go and you have a truly optimized system. And if you want to venture into other other lead generation like YouTube video, Facebook ads and things like that, we can connect them all to here as well. So this is kind of how you would start automating with a funnel. I know it's a very high level. Everybody's business is different, but think about the different steps that you take your buyer and seller through and write down the steps that could be automated because the content is not really special to them. And then the content that needs to be special to them, you cover that in the appointment and all the basic stuff you send ahead of time. But remember, you're not the one physically sending the email, have automations do that. And again, what's that for you? So you can watch those videos or you can hire us to set it up. So um, get something like this today and automate your business. All right, so I hope you found that information helpful. You know me, it's always my desire to give you something that you can walk away and implement today to help you grow your real estate business. And if you have any questions about what I went over, drop those down in the comments below as well. If there's a topic you'd love to see, drop it down there as well. I'd love to deliver content that you guys really need help with. Again, if you want any of my coaching programs, you want our all-in-one real estate website and funnels, then go ahead and click that link below and book a marketing consultation. If you'd like to get all of my training, resources, coaching, and courses for free and no extra costs are split to you, take a look at partnering with me at EEXP inside the Agent Wolfpack. And not only will you get all of the Agent Wolfpack resources, but you will get mine as well. And there's a link below where you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, whether you're a new agent, uh, a team, or a broker, we can help you. So book that call. And again, if you want to keep seeing more content like this, then you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.